What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon to some out there. It's the Earthmaster here on this Thursday, almost Friday, uh, November 10th, 2022. It is about uh, 10.24 a.m. California time. By the way, today is Missy Mimi's birthday. So a big happy birthday to Missy Mimi's today. Uh, what do we got for earthquake activity over the last 24 hours? Well, a little bit of movement uh, throughout the region broad area actually uh, pretty much seen an uptick all over the place uh, including here along the west coast and also down in the gulf of uh, california area right around the baja california region seen a 4.1 coming in uh, to the area overnight uh, getting a little bit of cluster of activity across the um looks like right off the coast there of costa rica possibly uh, a little bit of movement in the two and three range uh, and also south america seeing the return of deeper earthquake activity uh, so the broad picture here folks definitely an uptick uh, in pretty much all areas except for uh, regions around the papua new guinea area and the philippine plate here and of course the uh, japan and the curl kamchaka trench these areas have not been hit uh, pretty quiet right now do have one of 3.4 uh, into the philippines area and um but aside from that this area of the pacific plate we might want to keep an eye on today uh, here is the latest activity across the usgs map now notice some of those quakes there listed on the globe are missing including that 4.1 in the gulf of california area here uh, and also a lot of the activity in south america now the uh, 4.1 should have shown up here on the usgs map but it didn't and a lot of the activity that we've seen on the globe was below the 4.0 threshold here in the South America region. So it's not showing the uh, activity uptick there. But there is definitely earthquake activity ramping up um, in this area. Uh, they're showing the latest earthquake there from yesterday. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look here at the West Coast, see what we got. Uh, Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot showing up up here. Got uh, one earthquake. Looks like that's around the... Uh, Mount Rainier, in between Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier area, near Packwood, Washington, a 1.6. But that's about it showing up there in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, in the Northern California, we did see a couple more quakes pop up here overnight, including a 2.9 earthquake along the southern end of the Gorda Plate here, off the coast of Northern California, just shy of the Cascadia Megathrust area. Uh, it was a 2.9 at 10 kilometers deep, about 11 o'clock last night. I did see that come into the seismograph. It took the USGS a little while to uh, uh, show that earthquake. Uh, also, uh, <clears throat> looks like a 1.6 from yesterday into the coast range uh, near the Hay Fork area. Uh, things kind of calming down here around the Cobb Mountain area. Uh, this is the all, ma all magnitudes. Yes, it is. So a uh, little on the quiet side, considering we've seen quite a bit of activity here over the last week, 284 earthquakes around the Cobb Mountain area with the largest, see what we got for largest, it looks like about a 3.2 uh, in this cluster of earthquakes. Very common to see this type of movement uh, because of the uh, operations that are going on out there. Uh, we do have one earthquake coming in, it looks like right now, or uh, within the last hour, a 0.4. Uh, outside of Mount Lassen here, got uh, an earthquake kicking off early this morning uh, about 1.6 magnitude there 3.3 uh, mile 3.3 kilometers below the surface um, kind of about the time that my stream went down again uh, around 3:30 in the morning the stream just automatically disconnected itself uh, it's been doing that uh, and this is a brand new computer it's so odd so I, I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have to look at a few different options here in regards to preventing that from happening uh, the swarming that we were watching here off the San Andreas Fault came to a halt yesterday afternoon with no further activity to note here in the region. Um, and most of the activity has been confined to the San Jacinto Fault Zone throughout the morning time frame. And um, one earthquake off the Imperial and the Brawley Seismic Zone here about 8 o'clock in the morning on 1.7. So no major swarms happening currently in California uh, up into the uh, Nevada area majority of this earthquake activity from yesterday we were watching a swarm here 
uh, around the Pyramid Lake and also just east here up against this mountain range where there's a couple different fault systems taking place there. Uh, throughout the Utah area, things a little spotty. Uh, Yellowstone National Park shows a few more earthquakes here today. And indeed, they're having a little bit of earthquake activity. Let me go over here to the Yellowstone map here. Show you guys the overview. Maple Creek area uh, overnight. A couple of small specks here picking up. A little bit more of an uptick than what we've seen yesterday. Uh, nothing big, just a couple small microquakes as noted up here on the map. It looks like a 1.8, uh, the largest there in the little cluster of quakes at Yellowstone. Uh, into Texas, Pecos, Texas area. Majority of this from yesterday. One earthquake at 4 o'clock in the morning. South of here, south of the Pecos, Texas area, 2.1. Don't really see too much activity down here uh, in this area of the state. Uh, I'm sure there's some fault systems here because we've got some mountains, but I'm kind of curious to see what else we have out there. Um, very close nearby is a field, a um, pretty large area of uh, oil pumping operations out here with wastewater injection wells uh, and wastewater ponds. Those are sitting out there very close to this earthquake, uh, specifically right underneath this area. <clears throat> I don't really see anything nearby, but uh, a lot of times these events out here, these uh, wastewater injection processes can kind of trigger older faults that may not have been active for a while. Here's a little uh, fault system or uh, pumping operation as well with some wastewater pond um, images right there. Very close within a few miles of that uh, 2.1. I look for these little oddball earthquakes and uh, that was just kind of out of place down there. Uh, a little bit of activity yesterday in Oklahoma. Most of that has died off except for a 2.1 near Union City at about uh, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. New Madrid zone, that was uh, kind of kicking up yesterday as well. What have we seen overnight? Maybe a couple more earthquakes, 1.8 and a 1.9. Uh, since about midnight, have been seeing a little bit of activity over the last week. Nothing major. I got about uh, specifically within the New Madrid zone, about six earthquakes here listed up on the map in this area, and only two in the last 24 hours. Uh, not a whole lot above 4.0 around this area, around the Caribbean plate, but um, looks like we do have that little swarm of activity here um, on the uh, Cocos and the uh, Caribbean plate boundary right there off the coast of the. Um, Costa Rica area probably, Nicar Nicaragua, Panama. This area right here is where it's uh, kind of popping off a little bit in the smaller range of microquakes. Uh, over here further east, got uh, some movement out around central it Italy, but this is off the coast, a um, 4.3 coming in. Uh, within the last hour, now of course this area did see uh, some movement. Let me bring up the last seven days of activity here. And of course, this is, again, this is only going to show uh, 4.0 and above unless you're on the EMSC model. Uh, but that 5.6 striking a couple days ago, aftershock activity continuing. Um, a look at it on the Earthquake 3D globe here shows uh, a pretty good amount of um, aftershock sequences there kicking up. Over the last couple days here, of course, we had that 5.6 and um, a couple other smaller microquakes in that area. So that is expected to continue, um, considering that uh, five pointer that came into the area a couple days ago. Uh, let's see what we got here across the rest of the region. See if we got any newer activity. Up against the Himalaya Mountains, uh, actually all this activity looks like it's some older movement coming in uh, later in the evening. Some movement around the northern end of the Java Trench. Uh, this earthquake came in at about 9 o'clock in India, north of uh, the India area. Let's see here. Also down into the region where we've seen quite a bit of deep earthquake activity. Um, yesterday, things have kind of mellowed out here. Uh, we have seen a little bit of adjustment further south. 
overnight. Uh, looks like just along the Kermadec Trench, a little bit more shallower, up at about 135 kilometers deep uh, compared to those earthquakes we seen yesterday, roughly within that same zone. Uh, these earthquakes here were pretty large and also pretty deep uh, down there. Some of the deepest, 665 kilometers deep. That's some um, pretty deep activity kicking up down there. And we have noticed just a little bit of adjustment further upstream, but I still think we need to watch this area. A lot of deeper activity puts uh, well, some pretty good strain upstream along these areas. So watch that pretty closely. Alaska seen a pretty good uptick today. Stand by for a second. Nothing like coffee. Coffee on a cold day is a good thing. Alaska around the Trident Volcano. Uh, looks like that's starting to kick up again. A little bit of swarming around that area. About eight earthquakes. Going to keep an eye on that. And some further movement on the uptick around the Anchorage area and definitely picking up around the Alaska range here uh, today. Also notice some movement up around the Fairbanks. Just outside the Fairbanks area, quite a few ones kicking up up there. But uh, overall, general seismic activity has been increasing in this zone overnight uh, with some twos and threes kicking up well inland away from the plate boundary. Uh, also way up north here near the uh, Purcell Mountains area. 3.1, the largest here in that sequence of earthquakes, making itself known there in Alaska. All right, the Big Island uh, swarming, it looks like, has halted there at the Mauna Loa area up at the summit. We were watching that pretty closely. Um, overnight, they did have a couple more, um, but the swarm definitely died off, it seems like, um, right around the midnight, 11 o'clock time frame yesterday. <clears throat> But uh, still kind of watching that uh, movement around Kilauea Volcano, about the same. And Pahala area st still showing some activity today with the uh, 1.8. There we go. Those numbers, man, they keep popping up. 33.3. Good stuff. Uh, let's see what else we have here, folks. Um, let's go ahead and check out the Mauna Loa recent seismograph stations here just for verification. going to pull up a seismograph and see what we got for latest data and notice up here on the map I knew it's gonna do that and I still don't know why every time I click on it, it resets until I do it again and then it will pop up rather odd not for sure what I'm doing wrong there but either way there's a swarming from overnight uh, or late last night I should say there's quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up down there where the uh, magma is kind of on the move down there about two to five kilometers uh, below the surface, two to five miles, excuse me, uh, below the surface in that area uh, with very minimal activity this morning. So uh, either way, still kind of keep an eye on that, watching that pretty closely. Uh, also, I wanted to cover the Mount Lassen area, see if we got anything kicking up out there because there was an earthquake nearby and uh, a lot of times when uh, we do get that nearby activity, there's normally a swarm kicking up, but uh, I'm going to check the raw data here real quick and see what we got. Looks like um, there's one earthquake. That's got to be the, um, let's see, which one was that? Let's zoom in here real quick and see what we got. That was the 1.6, right? 0316 in the morning. Uh, UTC time of 1116. So that has to be the earthquake in question there 11 11 30 utc time so right about uh, 11 16 time frame so other than that um, looks pretty quiet not a whole lot of activity kicking up here uh, on this seismograph station at, at um, mount lassen let me check out uh yeah this one's not working let's see what else we got here yeah that's about it not a whole lot of activity currently there at Mount Lassen in Northern California, which is good. I'm sure they got quite a bit of snow up there uh, in the Sierra Nevadas and stuff like that over the last couple of days. We got uh, a good amount of snow, which is what we need. Picked up uh, picked up almost two inches of rain here in the Sacramento Valley, just outside of Chico here where I live. So uh, it's definitely give us a good soaking, but we need so much more. Trimmer activity last night, pretty minimal. Uh, about 63 epicenters of trimmer. 
And Volcanic Seismicity map, we're going to check out Mount Hood, see if we got anything popping up. No earthquakes listed up here on the map uh, from the PNSN, but for fun, we're going to just double check it and make sure. Always good to drop in and see what's going on behind the scenes. And I'm not for sure what this is here. This could be uh, who knows what, but um, definitely not volcanic or earthquake related. It could be um, some pump, some lifts in operation. I don't know. Earthquake activity kind of looks like this right here. It looks like there may be a couple small ones um, in this graph that's showing up there. Uh, let me check another nearby station and see. Let me check out this one here and see what we got. Lamberson Butte. Alrighty. Maybe. Any day now? Today? Maybe? Um, yeah, not a whole lot of activity here. This graph's a little bit overblown, but uh, definitely not seeing any sizable seismic activity there. There is the yesterday's events. Notice it may be kind of hard to see in the static of the lines here, but some wavier, broader lines indicating those surface waves <clears throat> from yesterday's events in Fiji. That deep earthquake movement, large deep activity showing up here on the uh, seismograph. Alrighty, anything new in space weather? Well, let's check it out. Green across the board, far as the three-day goes. These guys keep in elevated conditions here a little bit for the solar flaring activity, but lack of solar flaring. Uh, let me see what we got for the latest data here. Well, <clears throat> uh, these sunspots are definitely in a good location here for any Earth-directed flares and subsequent CMEs, but unfortunately, these are split pretty good. Uh, if these two were right next to each other, uh, then we could be talking about some major flaring, but right now these are got a pretty good gap in between these two structures here of the magnetic field, and uh, it doesn't look, still doesn't look very likely. Maybe up here looks like we got a little bit of complex uh, issues going on with that, that may turn into something. It looks a little bit better in terms of maybe seeing some solar flare activity from this specific sunspot but a little section right there but i don't like i say i don't think anything major is going to pop off here uh, unless something changes drastically the current x-ray flux chart here shows um kind of crackling slightly with that little uptick it seems like overnight just barely a little bit of a noticeable uptick but no major flares popping off at all uh, and barely getting into the sea level here at C1.2 uh, or so. But uh, either way, we'll keep an eye on it. No major coronal holes. Uh, those are all gone. Doesn't look like anything's on the horizon either for the coronal hole activity. Looking at sunspots, um, hard to say if there's anything around the bend currently. I really don't see it. Check out the latest one here. Maybe a uh, developing sunspot here and here, but... Uh, after these, I'm getting a little bit of clearance there with no sunspots coming around the bend. So we'll, either way, we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Alrighty, folks. Have a good day. Again, live stream is back up and running. Audio should be good. I noticed a couple um, comments last night saying that there was no audio from, I think, two or three people. So... Not for sure what was going on. <clears throat> Definitely not an issue with the video, but maybe possibly on YouTube side. But uh, who knows? Kind of weird. Seems like it was working fine for some, and then uh, others were having some issues with the audio. But either way, I think we got audio now because we're clear as a bell on the microphone. Have a good day, folks. We will catch you guys just a little bit later on. And... Um, you know, watch these regions right here around the Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench area. Looks like we did see a little bit further adjustment down south, North Island, New Zealand area overnight. But uh, still going to watch these regions pretty closely. All right, folks, take care. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight. Peace out.